Okay, so this illustration, which was created by AI, obviously, ended up in a scientific publication. It was accepted and published. Where do I even begin? First of all, there is no rat with this anatomy. This looks like the Incredible Hulk of rats, except this illustration is scientifically and anatomically incorrect. Oh, it gets worse. The authors didn't even bother to change the labels. I mean, just look at the names. That's a lot of gibberish. It looks like a language from Star Wars. As you know, when you create an image with text using AI, it's really not perfect yet. It generates just some random letters that don't even exist in any language. And the authors decided to send the illustrations in the original text that was created by AI. When you submit your paper for publication, a number of scientists will look at it, they review it, and if they see that everything is good, it will be accepted for publication. If it's not good, it will be rejected until you fix the errors. And so two peer reviewers, two scientists looked at this figure and said, you know what? This checks out. And they accepted it for publication. But in their defense, the authors wrote that the illustrations were created with mid-journey. They didn't say AI, they said mid-journey which means the reviewers don't know what Midjourney is. They probably thought that Midjourney was a professional artist who created these incredibly colorful images. Maybe if the authors added the word AI, the reviewers would have questioned the authenticity of these illustrations. Now, we're not talking about just one illustration. There are three illustrations and none of them makes any sense. And the paper was published. Well, the good news is the journal realized their mistake and they decided to retract the paper. Now, the paper has joined a big list of retracted papers. In a new report, it was revealed that more than 10,000 papers have been retracted in the last year alone. It's one of the highest numbers of retractions in a single year. Papers that have been retracted because of scientific fraud. And I think this is terrible. It's alarming. There are so many papers that are passed as science facts. AI-generated papers, AI-generated illustrations, and they all pass the review process. We are reaching a point where we will probably not be able to trust science because we won't be able to distinguish between what's authentic and what's fake.